Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me for maths today. Now, are you ready for a challenge? Good. Okay. For this lesson, you will need a pencil and paper, or you could use your book, or you could choose to use a whiteboard and a pen. You will also need a number line to help you work out some calculations. So if you haven't got those, can you pause the video and go and get them for me, please? Thank you. Okay. So today we are looking at comparing numbers and number statements. Now we have looked at this before, but just comparing numbers. So it might get a little bit trickier but the more we practice, the better we will get at it. So let's just quickly recap. We have our less than sign. So less than, can you try that with your hands? So my turn, less than, your turn. Brilliant. We have greater than, can you show me greater than? Fantastic and equal to okay so let's remember we all spoke about this and we said they're a little bit like crocodile mouths so just remember the crocodile always wants to eat the biggest number the greatest number okay what does the crocodile always want to eat fantastic okay so first of all, we're going to have a look at comparing numbers. So let's have a look at our first one. So our two numbers are eight and 14. So is eight less than, greater than, or equals to 14? Have a look on your number line, that might help you. Can you pause the video to quickly work it out for me? Okay, did you get it right? Let's have a look. So eight is less than 14. Eight comes before 14. We know that because when we're counting, we say eight first. Did you get that correct? Fantastic. Okay, next one. We have numbers 16 and 13. So it's 16 less than, greater than, or equals to 13. Pause the video and write it down for me. Remember, the crocodile always wants to eat the greater number, the biggest number. Okay, let's fill it in. So 16 is greater than 13. Fantastic, everybody. Okay, and the last one, we have number 19 and 19. Is it less than, greater than, or equals to? You can pause the video to work it out and write it down. Okay, so 19 is equal to 19. They are the same number. Well done if you got those correct, but it's okay if you didn't because we are all learning. Okay, so let's have a look at comparing a number sentence to a number. Okay, so here we go. Let's read this together. Four add two, and then we have a blank box, and eight. So we need to work out if four add two is less than, greater than, or equals to eight. So the first thing we need to do is we need to work out what four add two equals. Can you work it out on your number line or you can put the biggest number in your head and count on, see if you can guess it. Okay, so four add two equals six. So you could have used your number line to help you if you wanted to. So you could have started at four and jumped on two to give you number six or 
put it in your head. Number four, five, six. Fantastic. So we know that this is six. So is six less than, greater than, or equals to eight? You can pause the video if you like. Okay, six is less than eight. If we look on our number line here, six comes before eight. Great work. Okay, next one. Are you ready? Let's read it together. Eight adds five and 13. So what's the first thing we need to do first? Fantastic, we need to work out this number sentence. So we need to work out what eight add five equals. You can pause the video to work it out. Remember, you can use your number line or put the biggest number in your head and count on five. Okay, so eight add five, we can use our number line to help us here. So we start on eight, add on five. One, two, three, four, five, which leads us to number 13. So we know that this is 13. Brilliant, okay. So we have 13 and 13. So can you work out if it's less than, greater than or equals to? You can pause the video if you like. Brilliant, that's equals. They are the same number. So it's equal to. Brilliant, let's look at the next one. Are you ready? Oh, we have two number sentences for this one. So we have 11 add four and 10 add three. So we've got to work out both number sentences. Here we go, I've written them down here. So can you work it out on your piece of paper on your whiteboard? Remember, you can use a number line, here's mine to help you, or put the largest number in your head and count on. You can pause the video now if you'd like. Okay, so 11 add four. I'm going to put the largest number in my head, which is 11. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I know that 11 add four equals 15. And now I'm going to work out 10 add three. 10, 11, 12, 13. So I have 15 and 13. So up here, I could write 15 and 13. So is 15 less than, greater than or equals to 13? You can pause the video if you like. So 15 is greater than 13. This number comes after 13. So when we're counting, we say 15 after 13. Fantastic work, amazing. Let's have a look at another one, ready? Ooh, 14 add five and 17 add two. So I've written it here and here's my number line. Pause the video and can you work out both of these number sentences for me. Remember, you can use the number line or put the largest number in your head. Fantastic, okay, so 14 add five. So 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Did you get that too? Fantastic. 17 add two, so 17, 18, 19 again. So I know that both of these equal 19. So they are equal to, they are the same number. Did you get that correct? This is brilliant work. Okay, 
So I would like you to finish off our lesson by picking one of these and working it out for me independently. Do you think you could try that for me? And I'd love to see all of your answers on Padlet or you can email them to me as well. So remember, pick one of these. You can pause this video here and see if you can work them out for me. You could even make up your own ones, maybe for me to solve or for Miss Geary, Miss Beaton or Miss Wallington. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me for Maths today. Have a lovely day.